Guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Sharp Moves, another video. Uh, big apologies, it's about been, been about four months, no videos, no updates. So I wanna apologize to all my subscribers, all 2,000 of you. Um, I want, don't mean to keep you sort of waiting, hopefully you're waiting, uh, but today I've got something really, really special for you. So if you follow my channel, if you've been watching my videos, you would be able to go back and see that I, that I about six months ago, filmed the Mustang Mach-E, very controversial, very, you know, cool car. Uh, but it was the select sort of entry level vehicle. Um, you know, had had four days with it. It was out of this world, had a really, really good time. Today, I've been able to get my hands on this. The 2022 Mustang Mach-E GT. Okay, not only GT, but this one has the performance package as well. So today we're gonna be reviewing it a little bit. We're gonna have a little zip around in it. You know, we're gonna talk about all the things that are a little bit different, you know, the awesome things that are a little bit different um, from this model to the entry level or from the entry level up to this model. This one packs tons of, of horsepower, tons of torque, huge Brembo brakes on it right there. Um, beautiful rims, you know, 20 inch, uh, 20 inch rims, you know, big Pirelli, um, lots of rubber four-wheel drive um, and this beautiful flecked paint not sure if you if it comes up in the in the video but it's cyber cyber orange metallic with a nice fleck let's see if we can get a little bit closer and uh and see that that beautiful fleck in the sunlight so anyways let's take a look at it let's do a little walk around and uh and i'll show you everything there is to know about the new sort of hot electric suv So just wanted to draw your attention to the window sticker. Excuse my uh, my shadow there on my head, but um, here's basically everything that the car sort of offers. And I'm going to give you all the performance specs, sort of you know as we go. I'll put that up on the on the screen. But you can see out the door, you know, 69.8 with tax, title, delivery, um, everything. As I said before, this one is in cyber orange metallic. It's got a beautiful sort of fleck sort of, you know, you can see the little speckles of, of, of fleck um, orange um, in the coat. It's, uh, it's actually really, really beautiful. So this one's got just about everything um, you can get with this model. Um, obviously the GT Performance package is another five grand. Um, the Cyber Orange paint being another $600, which is for, for this paint, this this paint, this, this color pops so nice. It looks so exotic. I don't know if I would go as far as saying it's, you know, Lamborghini sort of Urus-esque, but there's certain angles, like if you catch the front, if you look at how it's sort of chunky, that little front end is there with the big, big rims and the, uh, rims and the Brembo brakes, you almost catch it from like that angle there. And you get a little bit of, personally, I mean, come at me in the comments and let me know if you think I'm totally out of line saying this, but you get a bit of Lamborghini sort of Urus sort of vibes. You know, obviously you have all the intakes here. Um, this one here being functional, these all open up, right? Under speed, a little bit of air uh, coolant get into the uh, to the batteries, keep things nice and, uh, nice and, um, nice and cooled down. Um, the Mustang logo at night lights up as well really really nice little little touch looks really really good and then this this car it's a 2022 is filled with cameras if you watch my last video on the select um version of this i really get into depth about the the technology the flat screen inside the the infotainment system um and how how amazing how safe and how 
sort of practical this this vehicle is. Um, so again, the the orange cyber metallic on the the gloss black or with the gloss black accents looks so so good. I'm going to take you inside in a second, but you can see how it just kind of pops. Right, and if you look there, that's a huge sunroof. Doesn't open, but it's all glass, all the way from the back to the front. So it looks really, really, really good, really good. Drove this thing a second ago, it was awesome. Again, so yeah, it comes with your, your pretty standard warranties, right? It's obviously a 2022 car. There's your fuel economy, right? Um, the owner of this of this car up there has his own sort of trickle charger that he puts on every minute or every uh, evening when it's when it's dead. Um, the performance vehicle gets about 260 miles to to a charge, um, and the owner told me that as you know the the weather gets a little bit colder, it tends to deplete the battery a little bit, so you don't get quite as much. I think it was 100 this morning. It was a little cold when we started up. It was like about 180 miles um so just just something to sort of you know to 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 think about you can obviously buy a bigger charger you can get the, the electrician to come in and, and set up a, a you know a little bit bigger charger that that will charge fully obviously quicker um he didn't think that he had the the need for it um but yeah looking at the the panoramic uh, panoramic uh fixed glass roof is another 1300 there um, and then Ford's co-pilot. I think that's maybe all the sensors around the car that a little extra for another 1900 It kind of went, you know, balls to the walls all in on on this uh, vehicle. It's really really cool So is in the interior is performance gray active s active x uh, seat material So there you go. That's that's kind of the the window window sticker uh, What you're what you're kind of looking at, all right? So just looking at a couple of little accents again. Look at the size of the uh, of the rims. It's on P uh, Pirelli P zeros, right? Lots of lots of good grip there. This thing grips so well, anyways, because it's it's on you know it's a four wheel drive car. If you look at that badging, Mach four, Mach E four X, right? And then the huge. I think those are probably six piston calipers. Don't know the exact name of the rims, but look at how gorgeous those are. Look at how they sort of accent the, um, the the tires, right? And how they pop with that that orange color. Nice red Brembos. Looks really good. There's your charging port, and just the, the gloss black all around, right? Like no chrome. No one likes chrome. Look at how good that looks. This car is about six weeks old. Uh, so just popping the door open. Obviously, this this car again. If you watch my older video, you'll see that this car has its own technology for opening the the door right you push that button you pop it open you only need your car uh, your your fob in your pocket there's the key boom there it is it doesn't really say gt or anything this is the exact same key as the the entry level one but still pretty pretty nice you know kind of does the trick it's enough all right so popping it open boom we're in and then once we get in here now we can really see the sort of differences in the fit and finish Right, versus the select right so as soon as I get in, I get that nice new car smell you know I get GT embroidered on the side that's a nice special touch right um, in the old in the old one that I shot the the seats were very very basic this has some nice little bit of Alcantara in the center with some nice soft touch leathers right high high quality stuff all right, Alcantara on the side. There's your GT badging right there. You'll notice, and again, if you watch my, I keep referring back to my old video, there's n there's basically no Ford logos on this car. It's all Mustang, right? The, the, the company Ford obviously wanted to really push that. Like, take a look at that. Wanted to push the Mustang sort of brand, right? Obviously, they're, they were taking a chance going from their big Mustang sort of sports car to now taking it very electric. And so that was a big chance that they were taking there. Um, and so they really wanted to to push that, to, to let you know that you're in something special and you're in a Mustang, not just a Ford. So take a look at that, that glass, panoramic, panoramic glass window really takes that sort of claustrophobic sort of feel out of the car when you have when you have a full glass sort of window it makes it feel a lot more sort of spacious in the uh, in the interior there's that big glass tesla-esque uh control center all right if i hop in here and give you the the sort of the the lay of the land here give you the lay of the land so when it powers up there we go powers up another mustang thing 
turn the sound down and then you've got that big screen again if you want to see a little bit more particulars on how everything works here all the drive modes and all that stuff i get into more depth there in the um you know unbridled engage whisper you know propul propulsion sound you can turn on fake sound obviously this is an electric vehicle you can turn on fake sound um, i get into way more depth um, on my last video so go take a look at that again the the, the link is either is either cut or up there or in the description but definitely have, have a look at it so again you can just you can you can see banging all of all of sudden, uh, sound system so this thing pumps the music a little bit of a, a fake carbon fiber sort of trim here but again looks nice lots of Alcantara you know tons of space in the back there it's a Mach-E but it's a Mach-E with tons and tons of performance so I think they've really done a good job on this uh, on this vehicle um, you know it's 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 the new hot sort of electric vehicle it's the new the new hot sort of you know everyone's been Tesla 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 this is the new competitor to Tesla and it actually won I think I think it won electric vehicle of the year so um, for me after driving the regular one after driving this I give it a high high ratings I think it's a great buy this one comes in you know pretty well spec at about seventy thousand dollars and that's a lot of car for the money remember zero to sixty in about three and a half seconds we'll go for a little little buzz in a second zero to sixty three and a half seconds you know 250 you know a little bit less than that in terms of range you get your charge ports at home you know you can get you can get a whole bunch of kids in the back there you know you can get space in the front down there um, obviously it's just a battery so there's space in the front there's space in the back beautiful sunlight coming through right high high level tech this is kind of a no a no-brainer whether you go for the real fast performance one which is you know faster than 911 or you go entry level for 40 I think the base price entry level is 43 probably looking at you know 45 47 maybe 50 as you start to, to increase the spec and add the, you know the drivers packages and stuff like that uh, but really really good buy for the money I think I, I highly recommend this car um, in terms of you know just ticking all the the daily driver sort of boxes right you could drive this in the in the winter you could drive it in the rain you know it's reasonably priced compared to you know a, a big exotic you know Maserati or Lamborghini so you could throw it around a little bit and not be real stressed about it. we just took it through a regular uh, drive-through um, uh, car wash you know and you know we hop out and they hop in and we're, we're not super we're not super worried about it you know what I mean it's because it's you know we didn't spend two three hundred grand on it it's it's worth a little less right obviously you know it's that's relative money is expensive and you know I think you know take care of your things obviously but you understand what I mean right it's all a relative you know if you if you're in a Lamborghini Urus it's it's a bit different you're a little you don't want someone jumping in your car and you know taking it through the car wash you might have it you know you know daily um, you know uh, you, what's the word yeah you might have it you know you might have a personally detailed kind of thing, right? So it's it's a little bit different. I think this is a lot of money for the for a lot of car for the money. Excuse me. So definitely a good buy. Uh, I think maybe we go and uh, take it for a little rip. All right, let's do it. All right, so we're in the we're in the Mach E. We're just gonna take it for a little little spin here. All right, walking, going through the 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 uh, subdivision here, and uh, so one of the big things I noticed with this vehicle is that it is not only bonkers bonkers fast but it handles very very tight if you take a look at the handling here right you get very very good feedback with just small little sort of touches of the of the thing right which is which is amazing um, I'm just gonna pull around here uh, where am I headed here and then Watch the horsepower on this thing. Ready and go. It's just insanely fast. Insanely fast. The pickup on this thing is zero to sixty in three and a half seconds. So it's it's com com it's competitive with a M5 sort of competition. That's that's the speed we're sort of we're sort of looking at. It's insanely insanely fast. So I'm just gonna flip around here. All right, flip around. Turning radius is really, really good on it. Really good. 
Yeah. And uh, then we'll hit it again. All right, coming around. And so I have propulsion on. You should be able to hear it picking up. So ready and go. And because it has such good Pirellis and, and um, you know, four wheel drive, it grips so, so well. Uh, and then obviously you have the stopping power when you need it um, with the, the Brembo brakes. Um, so amazing, amazing, amazing sort of vehicle. Um, kind of gives you everything you everything you need in a, in a sports car, right? But it also has the the practicality of, a, of an SUV. It's pretty, pretty amazing, pretty amazing. So even coming around here, it's, you know, it's cornering really, really nicely, like almost like it's on rails. You really don't feel the heaviness of the, of the car. You don't feel that it's, you know, it's a, you know, four and a half thousand pound um, SUV, which is, which is awesome. Um, which is a great feeling, so. I give this car very, very high remarks, very high, um, you know, certification of approval. Um, I think if anyone's in the in the market for a vehicle, an electric vehicle, um, I think this is where you should certainly be looking at um, for good value. Um, so yeah, hit me up, hit me up in the comments, guys. Let me know what you think. You know, would you would you be in the market for? A, uh, a Mach E, or are you are you thinking more still combustion engine? Are you starting to get your mind around electric vehicles and how practical, how amazing they are? Like this thing, this thing literally costs five bucks or less to charge every evening. Five bucks, right? You know, it's got a battery in it. It doesn't have a, a big engine. It's you know, it's it's super practical. It's faster than a 911. It, it literally, this thing does everything so are you are you would you be into something like this are you a buyer you know would you would you uh would you buy a car like this and what are your thoughts on this particular model do you like the orange would you go all black all right feel that just pushes your neck back ready let's give it one more launch control and then i'll send you guys off ready go Whoa! See you in the next video.